the CNN uh, just called you the female, the female Elon Musk. Uh, the secret behind energy and probably behind Tesla as well is that we all have a big, big passion for what we're doing. To pioneer the high performance electric motorbikes in that way and to supply the whole Moto E is really, really impressive. So, uh, and I've ridden your bike and it's spectacular. <laughs> I, I'm not scared because nobody did it before. I'm sure that if we put our passion and our technology and our brains in this, we can do this. Olivia, thanks so much for, for joining my uh, hashtag leaders for good chat. Uh, I hope to provide some inspiration, some, some great ideas to everybody who's really uh, struggling out there at the moment. Um, how are you doing? Tricky, busy. It's very difficult this period actually, but trying to managing it somehow. Very unlucky also with your company, uh, being right in the epicenter uh, of, of the worst, uh, worst uh, situation there in Italy. Yeah, actually, the thing is that we were running uh, on double shifts because we are receiving so many orders, so everything was going very well, even too much probably for this period. And then they decided to shut down everything, so now we are just trying to survive. And yeah, we are trying to survive, let's say this. It's very difficult because uh, once more, we have many orders, many customers waiting for their motorcycles. It's the best period ever for us from sales point of view. So actually now being closed and people knocking at the doors uh, waiting for the motorcycles and, uh, and we are not able to do anything because of course production is uh, shut down and R&D is shut down. So we could uh, work uh, at home with smart working. I have more or less 40 people that were already working at smart home. But now I have to stop them as well with the redundancy fund because I can, of course, stand the cost of the whole company without, uh, without turnover, without invoicing, without delivering more cycles. So, yeah, no incomes. It's a, it's a big issue now, actually. Yeah. I'm sure initially you even had some angry customers, but late, latest now they will start to understand or, or not. Well, you know what, they, are, they do understand, but at the end of the day, the season for racing, for, for riding a bike is very short. So even if they understand, uh, I don't want to be too late anyway, because uh, actually they, they ordered the motorcycles and they gave us a down payment. So we have to deliver anyway uh, as soon as possible. And we were doing actually. But yeah, that, there's nothing that we can do now. So um, what, what I'm trying to, to understand is just to how overpass this period. Um, so, yeah, just to uh, reduce at the maximum the costs and trying to stay at the minimum level until the end of the period in order to, to survive again. The, the, the thing now is just to, to finish the period and to survive at the, until the end of uh, this shutdown. Yeah. On a on a more uh, bullish note from before the, the crisis, um, I want to tell everybody who's watching as well that CNN uh, just called you the female the female Elon Musk. Uh, I, I know probably <laughs> I don't know how you uh, how you like or not so like that, that analogy, but but still it really is a testament of the incredible job that you have been doing with your team huh, to to pioneer the high performance electric motorbikes in that way and to supply the whole Moto E, uh, which is the Formula E version for motorbikes with your motorbikes is, uh, is really, really impressive. So, uh, and I've ridden your bike and it's spectacular. Yeah. Yeah, it's spectacular. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. But you know what? The, the thing is that when you do something with big passion and you can transmit, you can tell this and, and make them understand to your people, to the, the, thing, the, the people that are working with you, I think that things come uh, not easy, but easier than uh, than if you don't like what you're doing. And what the, the big, uh, I think that the, the secret behind energy and probably behind Tesla as well is that we all have a big, big passion for what we're doing. We we are really passionate. I'm sure that helps as well in this moment of challenge now with your employees. Have you seen some? Have you seen some incredible? Um, things that your employees have done or accepted in this time because they just respect your passion so much and have you seen something like very emotional? 
Well, for example, uh, they, they for example they were forced for um, for uh, already um, two weeks before the shutdown to work uh, at home. So uh, at the beginning we thought it was very difficult because think of uh, um, uh, a big um, engineering office uh, done of let's say 15 people. Uh, they are projecting new stuff uh, for the new season, so they are they are really working usually very close to each other and watching each other in 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 a whole in one single office all together, and they were forced uh, uh, working at home, and uh, we were very scared of this because we were uh, we were worried that they would be too slow or yeah it was impossible we were worried that it was impossible to manage this. And at the end of the day, they were great, and they, they, they are still great, actually, because they are working sometimes even behind the curtain because they are just, uh, even if they are on the redundancy found, they still try to help the company, and sometimes they connect each other anyway, and they try to work anyway sometimes. So even if uh, I didn't ask them, but they are doing by their own, and the same for marketing stuff, they're all working and trying to think of new stuff of new things that they can do together in this period that they, they, they don't have real things to communicate and they're trying to find new ideas. So this is, uh, this is inspiring me. This is Italians. This is Italians that even find the best in the hard times. And we are, as an Ergica, we are a demonstration, a lesson for this because we were born during the big crisis in, 2000, in um, 2008 and uh, 2009. And, uh, and, and we are exactly the lesson that we learned. Uh, we were born uh, when, uh, when the, the, the company, the family companies were, uh, were, were in a very difficult period, very similar to this one. And we decided to do something completely different. And Energica was born. And uh, here we're, we're trying to do the same. So even if this is maybe the, the hardest period in our life, in our working life uh, for Energica, we are trying to find the best of this period as well and to use it somehow to, to do something different. And um, not only are you like a CEO of a, of a tech pioneering company, but you're also a mom at the same time. So it's like double intense. I have two kids here at home at the moment. And so I really have a little bit of an understanding. Um, <laughs> How are you managing that? Is there any tips for all the other moms who are working at home and, and also having children to take care of? Yes, and uh, now in this moment, the baby is like closed in another room uh, together with the dog. And because I told them, you have to stay silent because now I really need silence. But yes, it's very difficult because um, yes, the, the, the father, we are working all together and he is working a lot as well together with me. And uh, so we are both working at home. And uh, of course, we had to ask the nanny not to come anymore because it was not visible for many reasons. And so we have to take care of the house, of the baby, of the dog, of, of the job that we continuously work anyway. So yes, it's, it's very difficult, but at the same time, it's nice because for example, we are never at home at lunchtime. And in this period, we are home all together, eating all together. And this is a, a nice novelty for us because I'm cooking for them even at lunchtime that I never did it. And, um, and maybe we are spending not so much time because we don't have so much time, but let's say 10 minutes all together after the lunchtime, playing in the garden. And we never did this before because it was impossible. I was staying in the company all the day from the early morning until late at night. So actually now, even if it's short times, uh, it's a high value. So it's, it's not so bad. It's very difficult, but it's not so bad. So your baby is locked away with a dog at the moment. Do you want to take five seconds to check that everything's okay? We can make a small <laughs> They should be okay. <laughs> Thank you. Because there is also the father with them. So he should be able in this short period. You've locked the father in there as well. Have, have yes. You? All together in one room. You have the key. Yes. Yes. You know, it's, it's the only way. Because otherwise, the one is barking, the other one is crying. It's impossible. But nice, nice to see anyways that in with some you know such an incredibly challenging time uh, you're still able to find some positives in, in spending more time with your 
with your child and, and your family. That's that's lovely to see. Um, one yeah. More, one more thing. Um, I've also read that your uh, your mother company, uh, together with you, you're involved in uh, in building parts for ventilators in Italy. Can you give us a few uh, details about that? Because obviously that's also a very awesome story. Yeah, I, I'm very proud of this because um, there there are many. Um, there are many claims about about this story because in Italy many uh, many other companies try to uh, 3D print uh, these uh, these parts, but actually they are very precise. The tolerances are very narrow, and so um, actually with our professional uh, 3D printing machines, uh, it's, it's easier, it's better, and so we uh, immediately try to make them. But we are modifying now the design, so we are working together. Um, in particular with one hospital uh, close to Milan, it's called the Milzo, it's a small town close to Milan, and we're working together with the, with them uh, in order to change a little the connectors, uh, in order to, to bring them better. And actually, if it seems that it's working, we are delivering, of course, for free. And um, you know the, the Decathlon uh, masks? Okay, we are trying to modify the masks from uh, Decathlon the for sub uh, to, to go down in the water. Yes, and we are trying to modify them uh, for, the, for the ventilators. And it's working now. Uh, of course, if uh, the first period of uh, experimental period uh, will really give only positive results will be enough then we will deliver also to other hospitals. But I want to be really sure that it's really working and not just claiming because the bad thing I've seen in this period is that a lot of companies are trying to tell that they are doing, doing great stuff, but it's not really working at all. And they are just claiming this. I want to be sure before telling everything that it's really working. I want just to be sure that it's really working because I, I'm not here to make a publicity to the company. I'm here to save lives. And so I want to be sure it's really working. So we had just told everybody because we wanted to be contacted by companies, by, by hospitals that we were doing this and we were available to do this. And so I, I needed to tell to the people. So we, we told them, that, okay, we are here. And now we're working together with one of them in order to deliver it and be sure that it's working. And when it will be working really 100%, then we will start to deliver also to other hospitals. And yeah, and if it works, it's something, it's a small job, it's not a big one, but at least we are trying to do our part. It's, uh, it's very difficult here in Italy. We have uh, so many dyes every day, it's terrible. No, I know, I know, it's really um, unbelievable. Um, but of course, I think already trying trying to help is is what matters. Huh? I mean, it's such a challenging situation that of course not everybody will succeed in helping. But I think trying is is already what matters a lot. And I'm always inspired by your sense of purpose uh, now and helping as a company, but also your sense of purpose and the reason why you started to do an electric motorbike was to take care of the environment as well in the long run. Um, so that's really uh, really awesome every time uh, to see that. And and thank you very much for the talk. I really wish you that you managed to overcome this challenging time in the best possible way as a family, health-wise, and then, of course, as your business as well. Um, and that uh, at the end of the year, you can have many, many happy customers uh, receive all those motorbikes that they want to receive and, and ride. And I'm sure they're so passionate about what you do that they will be riding through the wind, even though it's a single bike. <laughs> and you are lucky because you can do, <laughs> because yeah. it's warm at, at yeah. your home. But yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go with my Energica bike so I can ride it there. Uh, and even in winter, it's not too bad. Um, and maybe we're looking into as well at the moment to uh, to auction off um, uh, one of the one of my Energica bikes that you kindly uh, have um, have provided me with, uh, and also there to support the situation. And um, we'll be giving out news about that in the next yeah. Coming, next coming yes, day. please. Thank you, because this is very important. I know that uh, everyone thinks that it's only small jobs, it's only small works but it's better than nothing. And every one of us can do something. Even one euro donated, it's, it's better than nothing because now everybody needs help, everybody. So thank you for everything. Thank you, Livia. Bye-bye. Bye, thank you. I'm in my cellar in Ibiza. <laughs> it's the, like you, I didn't have the key, so I couldn't lock away my family. So. Uh, I have to go in the cellar because it's the safest place not to be interrupted.
<laughs> they try to tell me the same. They try to tell me you have to go in in a small office that it's not an office anymore. An office anymore. It's like a, a room where you put everything in the house. Okay. And I told them, no, look, you will stay in that small room for one hour at least. It's only one hour, but please stay there. And so they are all together in one room and I'm using the, the whole, but yeah, I understand you. It's so difficult. Yeah. Thank you. Bye.